Whenever you're ready. Go ahead. May it please the court. Theft is a major, ongoing issue in our nation, and we cannot let it go on any longer. Sloan Jackson is a thief. He stole a shirt that he desired and disposed of the shirt before fleeing confrontation. We have proved beyond a reasonable doubt that Sloan Jackson intentionally stole a shirt from famous fashion. Theft is classified as first-degree retail fraud because of Jackson's proven intention to never return it. We have proven that Sloan Jackson is not a record fanatic and would therefore have no reason to run from famous fashion in the name of records. Also, Jackson himself admitted that a rational and innocent person would have no reason to run from the authorities. Further, Bobby Clint proved to you that he found the shirt in a trash can by the ogre stand to where Jackson escaped. Even the defendant's witness, Toby Patton, was not able to defend Jackson. She had to admit it was quite possible that Jackson stole the shirt. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will need to ask yourself these questions. One, if Jackson is not a record fanatic, and if rational people do not flee the authorities if they are innocent, then why would Jackson feel the need to run from the store? He had no other reason than theft. And two, who would you believe? You know that both Ferguson, a reliable and experienced clerk, as well as Clink, a well-trained, high-performing security guard, attested to Jackson being the same person, the one who stole the shirt. Clink even found the shirt in the trash can. It is undeniable that Jackson was the man who stole the shirt, disposed of it, and fled. Jackson lied about ever being in famous fashions. Would you sooner believe a lying thief over hard-working, good citizens who are only trying to keep the peace on the most, stress, most stressful day in retail of the year? The underlying message of this case is a choice between obvious reliability and perjury, between my client and Sloan Jackson, the man who stole the shirt and fled confrontation. The choice is yours, but the answer is clear. Sloan Jackson is guilty of first-degree retail fraud.